Welcome to Wall Market, the pleasure capital of Midgar that's got everything for everybody. Couple, huh? It's all good. Play together, do your own thing, earn a little stretch on the side even. Whatever you're into, we got you. Got a special one-time limited offer. No, thank you. Come on, Cloud. Let's go. You like a piping hot bun built with the finest, most delicious, and delightful Cloud. honey. I will go wherever my research leads me, but the success of my endeavors rests entirely upon you. Your assistance would be much appreciated. with the most fascinating theory. I hope you will continue to help me gather vital information from my team. I look forward to receiving all of your future battle intel. Warmth, relaxation, the sweet embrace of pretty ladies. Oh, that's what I need. or not to enter? That is the question. Wherefore does this philosophical quandary torment me? You totally get where I'm coming from, right? <laughs> I knew it. Let me guess. After you've had your fun, you fall into a spiral of shame and self-loathing. But it only lasts a moment, doesn't it? Next thing you know, you're right back here again. Huh? Got a question for me? Seen Tifa around? Tifa? My love? My light? Who are you and how do you know her? No, shut up. I don't care. Keep us here? Why? Tell me why! Oh god, no. I did this to her, didn't I? She came looking for me to beg me not to leave her. <gasps> Snap out of it, Johnny. Your Tifa needs you! Tifa, I'm coming, baby! Who was that? Nobody you want or need to know. That sense, I can't stand it.
check it out. I think we might have found our man, and he's a gaudy one. Yeah. Not so fast, buddy. Back it up. Got no need for pretty boys here. We're looking for someone. Let me guess. First time in Wall Market. Yeah? So? So people can't just walk through the Don's front door. Especially men. How about me, then? Can I go inside? Maybe. But you're gonna wish you didn't. You know Leslie? She's kinda cute. Homely, but cute. Excuse you? Kinda cute's not gonna cut it. Come on. Can't you help us out? Do you have any idea what you're getting yourself into? Aaron. Seriously, Les, she's not half bad. With a little work, I bet she'd clean up real nice. Cloud, requesting permission to kill. Denied. If you're really sure you want to join an audition, then you're going to need to get official approval. And who can give us that? The trio. The only ones in town who are considered authorities on Corneo's particular tastes. First, there's Chocobo Sam. And then there's Madame M over at the massage parlor. Last but not least, there's the Honeybee Inn's Andrea Rodea. They're an eccentric bunch, to put it mildly. And you should know they don't recommend just any girl stupid enough to come knocking. Hmm. Duly noted. Thanks for the info. We'll be back soon. sure about this if you've got any better ideas not really so that's the way it is hmm. tifa's been invited into the don's estate huh but to earn such a privilege you must first win the approval of one of the trio right meaning i now know what i must do to save her stay strong tifa help is on the way johnny's coming baby <laughs> Not the sharpest tool in the shed, is he? Nope. What were you thinking? Stupid, stupid, stupid! Crawl into a hole and die! Nice. 
not you two again. Told you once, I'll tell you a thousand times. Got nothing for you. Now scram. Wait, hear us out. You're one of the trio, right? I want you to get me into the audition. Huh? Pretty please? Why not? Really? Sure. Next time an audition comes around, I'll put your name in the hat. Next time will be too late. Can't you get me into this one? You want in now? No can do, sweetheart. Already recommended Tifa, and she's got this in the bag. How can you be so sure Corneo will pick Tifa? You never know, he might pick me. Damn, you really do want in, don't you? Sure do. Then how's about we play for it? Call it, Missy. Heads or tails? Yes, right. And I'll grant you your wish. <sighs> Guess wrong, and you'll leave me in peace. Tails. Heads. You lose. <sighs> hey, don't look so glum. You're a pretty enough gal. Just not quite Corneo's cup of tea. But if only the Don will do, try convincing one of the other two. That's why it's a trio, not just the Mio. Now skedaddle. Wait. Mind if I see that coin of yours? <sighs> Trick coin. I had a hunch. That's cheating! And that's the wall market way. Lesson learned. Still cheating. Step right up, step right up. I guess they're closed right now? Why don't we try looking for another one of the trio? See the sign out front? All I got is materia. Thanks, buddy. that's ever been done to me. There's 
something downright wrong with this place. Oh, this place is full of too. supposed to go down like this, this place <sighs> just wanted so? to see andrea let me handle this we will. you wait out here okay it was like and why would i do that no i'm coming with i'm not really sure that you're a man of many talents but talking isn't one of them Welcome to the heart and soul of Wall Market, the Honey Bee Inn. Is there a honey boy or girl whose company you desire? Uh, we're here to see Andrea Rodea. Ah, the shining star of the Honey Bee Inn. Now, are you the one who made the appointment, sir? Can I have your name? Oh, we don't have an appointment. I see. I'm terribly sorry, sir. An appointment is required. And the earliest available slot is three years from now. Three years? All we want is five minutes. He can spare that. I need his help for the Corneo audition. Yes. Well, regardless of the circumstances, you cannot meet him without an appointment. Is there really no other way? It is rare, but Mr. Rodea does occasionally extend invitations to individuals who catch his eye. Otherwise, I'm sorry. But there really is nothing that can be done. I guess that's that then. Oh well, let's try someone else. Hey, are you nervous too? I am but a bee, fluttering about the garden. I'm so excited. Welcome, welcome. Just the two of you? Step right up. Now then, what manner of massage do you desire? Say what? Is this your first time in our establishment? Mm hmm. We are a hand massage parlor. An excess of fatigue and tension can make even the simplest task a terrible strain. It is our pleasure to relieve our patrons of that tension. <laughs> and what better way to seek relief than through the skilled ministrations of a professional? So now that we understand each other, what manner of massage do you desire? We're not customers. And you are... Hoping you can help us get an invite to an audition with oh, Don for love of Say another word and I'll shove this fan right down your throat. Oh. Uh. Ugh, this is the last thing I need. You're young and stupid, and I suppose that means you think I'll let you off easy. So, you want what? A favor? Well, here's the thing. This is a massage parlor, a respectable establishment. But if you don't require our services, then tell me! Is there any reason I shouldn't have you dragged outside and shot for wasting my valuable time? Well... <laughs> hmm... Name? Cloud Strife. Hand. Huh? Give it to me! The strong, firm hands of a fighter, yet they possess a certain elegance and grace. Okay, Cloud. Let's see what you're made of. After that, we'll talk. So, which course will it be? <laughs> then make your way to the room in the back. And wait. Cloud? I should warn you. 
This technique has certain risks. Huh? It's somewhat experimental. You may find it extremely pleasurable and rewarding. Or the opposite. Uh, wait. Absolutely not. You asked for this. Now take it like a man! Everything hurts. You'll enjoy it more next time. Do come again. How was it? Not now. Maybe not ever. Did something happen to you in there? Just... just give me a sec. Just one? Maybe a few minutes. Hmm? Think you'll make a habit of it? I think I've seen everything I need to see. So? Tell me what you want, and we'll take it from there. You're one of the trio, right? I want to get into Corneo's next audition. <laughs> and why in the world would you want to do that? Hmm? Okay. Really? But, you cannot go dressed like that. Huh? I could never send Corneo a candidate wearing such a plain-looking getup. Doing so would call my position as one of the trio into question. Is something wrong with my outfit? It's comfortable, isn't it? Cloud the fashion critic. Look, just take it outside the parlor, would you? Sorry, we'll stop. So... What should I do about the outfit? <laughs> you just leave that to me. I'll put you in a dress so fabulous, you'll look like a million gill. So long as you can afford it. How much? What I said. But don't worry. It's obvious you can't afford a dress with that kind of price tag. So listen, I have an idea. Uh. There's an underground coliseum in this town. Up for a fight, Cloud? Good, because I'm getting you into that arena. If you win the tournament, I'll transform Aerith into a drop-dead gorgeous beauty. Is there any prize money? <laughs> yes, for the person who got you in. So, what do you say? All right. That's what I like to hear. You'll need this. They're already letting fighters inside. You should hurry, run along. What have we gotten ourselves into? Nothing good. I wouldn't expect a fair fight in this town. Think we can win it all? That's one thing I'm definitely sure of. I appreciate the confidence, just don't get too cocky, okay? <laughs> You know, you're cutting it really close. So, the two of you are a team? Team? No, it's just me. Yes, the two of us are a team. I need to get into that audition, but I won't let anyone else fight my battles for me. That includes you, mister. All right, team it is. Head to the waiting area down below. go you think I wonder how many people are fighting hey you're not nervous are you nope really you're even more quiet than usual just trying to focus like you should In the 
city that never sleeps. In the paradise of debauchery and sin, the pain and pleasure. Where your every desire can be indulged for the right price. All money. To you, a scene passed through the chaos and bloodshed. We bid you the warmest of welcomes. Are you sitting comfortably? For tonight, the most gruesome spectacle anywhere in Walmart or beyond shall be yours to witness. Here in the Cornell Coliseum. Tonight's grand prize is no less than one million gold. And there's only one way to get it. Brutalize your opponents. Utterly and utterly. Viciously. Without mercy. Until they vomit black. Only the most ruthless fighters. The savages still standing here at the end. Shall claim the skill and the glory. And now the long awaited event in which the blood star feet will battle for your amusement. And the product. Warriors of every shape and size will fight to the death before your very eyes. And tonight, Corneo Tower! Wow, this place is really something. You two, wait here until it's time. You two, wait here until it's time. <laughs> uh, it's not your turn yet. Your names will be announced over the speaker. Just wait until then. Oh, <laughs> you again. Ouch, what happened to your face? I just needed a little scratch, you know? So I signed up for the preliminaries and... Well, I hope you guys realize what you're getting into. I don't want to scare you, but if you can make a run for it, you should. Cloud and Aerith, your match will begin shortly. Please make your way to the gate. We're in way too deep to back out now. You two ready? Try not to get yourselves killed. For our next batch, we welcome two fighters, a young couple no less. Talk about a bad day! And this is their first tournament, the bad first date, and most likely their last, inexperienced as they are. Or are they? Give it up for Cloud and Eric! Oh, 
Well, that's one win down. Go team! Mm. What's wrong? The rules don't make sense. Yeah, true. But maybe it'll be better in the next match? Nah. Wouldn't bet on it. Better to expect the worst. You've got some time before your next match. Get some rest. and Aaron. Your match will begin shortly. Please make your way to the gate. Well, that was some bullshit. That's what they call beginner's luck, but the next match won't be so easy. Ready to rock? Just remember, try not to die. For the second match in our spectacular semifinals, fresh from their first date with death, I present the Lucky Couple! We're like unlucky for the rest of us! Give it up once again for Cloud and Eric! Couple of my ass! What the hell you two trying to fall? You assholes cost me a fortune! Yeah, yeah! Their opponents, the Reavers in this game, are thieves and killers through and through! Too criminal for common criminals, the worst of the worst! Ladies and gentlemen, check your pockets, because they may have already robbed your blind! The most contemptible sons of bitches in town of Walmart get Bex Going in. Enough. 
Kid's really something. Well, of course he is. I did give him a massage, you know. His palm told quite the tale. He's cheated death more than a few times. Hmm. So is half the people in this town. Anyway, we're both still alive. Call him. <sighs> there you go again. One of these days, your luck is going to run out. When I fall from grace, maybe I'll land in your parlor once more. <clears throat> that is one mistake I will never repeat. <laughs> you gotta admit, Andy, the way he moves is totally amazing! Andy! <sighs> Next up, the big finale. Yeah. I thought you'd be happier. Just thinking about what we might face next. But you know, we've made it this far. I'm sure we can handle anything they throw at us. and Aaron. The final match will begin shortly. Please make your way to the gate. Does this mean I don't got to play dead no more? Not bad, not bad. You better make sure you rest up nice and good. Man, you proved me wrong. You guys are pretty good. It's the final match. You good to go? I've got a lot of money riding on you two. Win it for me. Ladies and gentlemen, our time together is almost over. Tonight's thrilling Corneo Cup, filled with unprecedented upsets and drama, has only one match to go! <laughs> we know. We're just as disappointed as you are. But ladies and gentlemen, all good things must come to an end. So let's celebrate by getting so damn loud, they'll hear us up on the play! Yeah! Come on! Once more. The sweethearts who surprised us with upset after spectacular upset. The power couple with the boundless love for bloodshed. The champions of Madame M, Cloud, and Eren! Look at do better than that! And now, 
five-time winners of the Corneo Cup. Murder machines with countless kills to their name, along with a handful of maimings. The deadly duo that takes out the trash with a mother vengeance. The electric executioners, Chocobo Sam's champions, Cuddy and Sleepy. Come on out. Shinra armor. More like cheating. <laughs> Who will walk away with a one million kill prize? Get ready for a fight guaranteed to go down in history. The final match of the Corneo Cup begins now. Let's go. Go on. <laughs> My condolences. Oh, you're taking this rather well. I was looking forward to a little temper tantrum. You bet it all on a toss. Sometimes you get burned by Lady Luck. Every coin has two sides. You're right, of course. Even if they are both the same. believe I have a prize to collect. Sorry. The madam will have to wait. The Don's demanding that we tack on one more match, it seems. What? If they win out, then you get paid in full. Now hold on just a goddamn minute. His call, not mine. <laughs> now that that's over, we can go save Tifa. So we'll head back to Madam M's, get you changed, and then it's off to Corneo's. Right. Sorry to be the bearer of bad news, but you still have one fight left. What do you mean? The crowd loved your show a little too much. People were placing hefty bets, much heftier than you can possibly imagine. Corneo's going to milk this for as much as he can. Meaning what? You face and defeat Corneo's fighter of choice, and only then will you be declared winners of the tournament. Hey, that wasn't the deal. Don't you think I know that? Ah! You greedy bastard, scum-sucking piece of shit, festering asshole! Uh... <sighs> but that's the way it is. Corneo's the one who makes the rules around here. But if you win this match, Corneo will have to accept your victory. And the crowd will make sure he does. So this is the last one? I sure hope so.
Go on now. That prize money is going to pay for your dress. I've been working here a long time, but this has never happened before. It's gonna be one hell of a match. Well then, you sure fixed my wagon. Do you two have any idea how much those mechs cost me? Watching you guys fight gave me goosebumps. Hope your next match is even better than the last. Ready to kick ass? It's not even about the money anymore, man. I just want you guys to win it all. Show them what you got. Tonight's Corneo Cup has been a spectacle like no other. And we shared your disappointment, ladies and gentlemen, when we told you that it was coming to an end. But nobody felt it more keenly than one time Corneo, who has decided that a bonus match is in order. Participating in this match will be this evening's leading lights, the dynamic duo that has crushed all competition thus far. Cloud and Eric! It's just... a house. It's no ordinary house. The manifestation of pure evil versus the most badass couple this side of Midgar! Have you ever seen a fight more incredible, more epic? You have not! No sir, you have not! They'll be singing songs about tonight for generations to come! Keep your eyes glued to the action, ladies and gentlemen! The Cups fight final battle begins now! Oh, the battle is done! Yeah. And already I can tell you the oh. last man will get it in the book! This come on! Oh. Oh. The task of the top! The meanest of the meanest! What can they handle? The horror of the I don't know, but I'm glad I wasn't. 
Do your thing. We have two special gas that runs to pick things up with us. But don't get too close. You can't handle his heat. Kill the raging fire. What do you think, folks? Yeah. Get the hell house weather the inferno. Some rest. Wait the hell. 
Champions! Awfully rare are you showing an interest in someone. What will you do? <laughs> there you are. I've been looking for you two. So Madam M wanted me to give you a message. She says you guys did pretty damn good, and that you should swing by her shop when you're done here. Got it? I was also hoping you might be interested in a few more matches here at the Coliseum. Big events like the Corneo Cup are pretty sporadic. 
but there's always action if you want to get a piece. Huh? You want to take me up on my offer now? What? Cool. You're here. Good. I have everything I need to get started. Just one thing before we do. You're the Cloud, right? Cloud the Merc. I'm told you did a wonderful job helping the people of Sector 5. <laughs> you have a very impressive work ethic. It's like they say, good things come to those who work. What goes around, comes around. And in ways that might surprise you. <laughs> I'm going to put Aerith in the most gorgeous dress you've ever seen. <laughs> It'll be a real jaw-dropper. All right, now that that's out of the way, once you change, you won't be able to leave town. Are you sure you're ready? All right, then. Let's get started. Beauty takes a lot of work and preparation. Far more than you'd know. In the meantime, let me see, let me think. There ought to be things you can only do without your friend. Now's your chance to get out and have some fun. <laughs> I can tell you're already beginning to feel at home here. Though being so new to it, I assumed you still wouldn't know how to enjoy yourself properly. <laughs> so I went and had a chat with Sam. He said he'd be happy to help you out. Hey, no one asked you to do that. But there's so much you don't know. This is the perfect opportunity for you to learn the ways of the world and man the hell up. And that's enough of that. Eric, come with me. Oh boy, I can't wait to see the dress. The dress is part of it, sure. But we'll also need to do something about that plain Jane makeup and hairdo. This is gonna take some work. Ouch. Well, I'll see you later, Cloud. Peek, and I'll poke out your eyes. You gotta think about the combination.
got all kinds of materia here. Don't be a stranger now. said you'd be swinging by. Let me see if I've got this straight. You ditched your lady friend and fellow champion to have a boys night out in Wall Market? Uh. Kidding. If I know the madam, and I do, this was all her idea. I can see why. There's no denying you're skilled with a sword. But when it comes to damn near anything else, I can't help but have my doubts. Ain't nothing wrong with that. But then there's nothing wrong with expanding your horizons, neither. Seeking new experiences. Knowing the ways of this here world will help you to better protect you while you're in it. Reckon I got a few solid gigs for you. What do you say? You game? Huh. Yeah. Why not? <laughs> That's the spirit. You have yourself a grand time tonight, Mr. Merck. been waiting for you to show up. Thanks for coming, and welcome to our humble training hall. Jules, head trainer. If you've got some time to spare, how about a little bit of fun? Want to try taking on one of our guys? <laughs> You're not serious, are you? Look at him. He's a scrawny little thing. I could snap him like a twig. Now, now. I wouldn't judge this one by his muscle mass. What do you say, Cloud? If you want to give it a go, just let me know. So, you up for a round? Ha! You're taking me on? You look like a dried up old Terpsichol left out the sun. You got no idea what you're getting into, little man. All right, enough talk. We'll settle this the tried and true traditional way. A squat off. Now. Let's all see what you've got. Now don't go crying to mom. Good. Yeah. That's how it's done. You've got this. Come on. Yeah. Try to get into a river. Yeah. You can do better than that. Yeah. Not bad at all. Yeah. I knew you could yeah. do it. You've got this. Come on. That's how it's done. Yeah. That's the best you can do. Yeah. Not bad at all. <laughs> Your form's looking good. You've got this. Come on. Yeah. And don't forget to breathe.
this one, but I know you'll get them next time. <laughs> Didn't I say I just... If you want a rematch, you better put some up. Thought I saw something in you. Well, if you ever feel like swinging by again, I'm sure someone here will be up to it. Hey! You ready to do this? Did I lose to this scrawny little kid who looks like he doesn't even consume his daily recommended amount of protein? Ronnie, you know it's all about quality, not mass. You're too quick to judge people by their build. That and your overtrained ego are the main reasons you lost to our bold challenger here. Thanks for helping me teach my boys a valuable lesson. And sorry for dragging you into it. Cloud? We're all one big family here at this gym, and now you're part of it. If you're ever up for training, our doors are always open to you. Let's work together to maintain healthy minds and bodies. Yeah! Right through the pain. Almost done. You want to go, do you? All right, then, bring it on! Ever in the mood for another workout? Just talk to Jay or Ronnie. <laughs> Welcome. Anything in particular you're looking for? Oh, you must be the Merc I've been hearing about. I need you to help me out with my dad. His drunk ass has been at the bar for hours now. Could you bring him back here? He's probably three sheets in over at Drunkard's. <laughs> Just over there. Wait up, Cloud! Sam caught me up on everything. He said you're gonna go rescue Tifa. And to do that, you're trying to learn all about Walmart. Bro, I know this town like the back of my hand, so I can answer all of your questions. Now, let's go knock this one out. The bar is this way, Cloud. Drunkards, here we come. Uh, are we even allowed to walk through the door? I'm getting a regulars only kind of vibe. This is the Drunkards Den, the best place in Wall Market to drink away your problems. It's mostly the same folks every night, so. Whoa, you can't just boss in there uninvited. Listen, there are rules for this kind of thing. Hey, old dude! Huh? Son, is that you? Did you always look so... moronic? Well, right back at you. Yeah, whatever. We're here to take you back to the store. I'm not going back! Not ever! My life is ruined! It's over! Kill me now! Come on, there's no need to talk like that, old dude. I'll help you out with whatever you need. Really? Oh, thank you, son. See, I made this bet with the materia merchant. A sure thing, but then I lost. 
And so I had no choice but to steal my heart and surrender my precious inspiration. Your precious inspir... Who with the what now? Inspiration! <laughs> Without it, there's simply no point in me ever going back to the store. Got it. I mean, I don't got it. But I just need to get your inspiration back, right? Whatever the hell that is. Leave it to me, old dude. Uh, hey, aren't you gonna go with your friend? <sighs> Drinks are on me. This is my jam. Marlita's the greatest honey girl there ever was. Yes, who ain't got my insurance? It's always best to be prepared for the worst, wouldn't you agree? Folia may be new, but she is clearly the best and the only one worthy of being called the greatest. I don't even really know how people use materia. Hey, wait for me! So this is it, huh? And what do you two want? Uh, uh, I'm here for the precious inspiration you took from the old dude. Inspiration? Oh, that thing. But I didn't take it. I want it fair and square. It's mine by rights now. Well, that's true. But I tell you what. I'll consider giving it back in exchange for it. A favor. Uh, what you need? Something only real men can deliver. Uh. I need you to go and get me something from the vending machine at the end. You know what. You know. No, I don't think I... Wait. The sauce. The sauce? Stop saying the sauce. Anyway, good luck. The time has come for me to wield my powers of assessment. I can feel it. Oh, I can feel it. I'm in for one wild ride. I'm gonna see some weird <laughs> shit tonight. Yeah. Cool <laughs> Relax, man. Step right up. I have the perfect room for the both of you. Hey, are you really leaving me out here? You need me. You need my knowledge and expertise. To... Welcome. Are you in need of... Have a safe trip. That's it. It looks like a regular old vending machine, right? But wait. <laughs> You ready for this? All right. This particular model has secret buttons. Where? Well, I can't tell you. It's a secret. You just need to tap into your knowledge and expertise. Like, grab it and whip it out. And then you'll be able to see everything. I don't need to whip it out. 
I've done this before. Watch this. Whoa, look at you, bro. Huh? Is this the sauce? I don't know. You're the winner! Have a prize! Shit, that scared me. Well, we've done what we said we would. Let's go back and talk to the guy. that I'm grateful for all of your help thus far. I've done it. I've developed a new materia. Mom, bro, hurry up! <laughs> Let's show him what we brought back from our little trip into... Oh, it's you two. It's time, bro. The sauce. Huh? What's this thing? Shit, that's not the sauce! Boys, it seems I misjudged you. Sorry for making you go to all this trouble for nothing. Don't worry, there's still time for you to learn and grow as men. Oh, uh, well, if there's anything else we can do, let us know. Oh, right. Hate to break it to you, but that thing you were looking for? Not here. It's long, long gone. You shitting me? Nope. Sorry. As I recall, the guy who runs the restaurant should have it. Ugh. Well, I guess we know where we're headed next. Come on, bro. Well, that's that. Time to polish the old orbs. Give them a spit shine so they positively sparkle. Hey, if you're done here, then get going already. Restaurant up next, huh? So, how goes your education?
on the menu today. Hey, wait for me! Welcome! Feel free to take any open seats. Sorry, we're not here to eat. The Materia guy gave you something, yeah? We want it. Materia guy? Oh, you hear about that? I'm surprised. Didn't take you for the type. Let me ask you something. Either of you know anything about cooking? Nope, never cooked once. That's too bad. For some reason, my food doesn't taste nearly as good as it used to. I was hoping one of you two might be able to help me figure it out. I've narrowed it down to the fridge, the stove, or the power supply. But I'm not sure what's to blame. question like that and you say no? Fine. If you're not gonna help me, then why should I help you? No advice, no info. Got it? Huh? Oh, come on, man. Uh, let me think. I seriously have no idea what it could be. This sucks. You know, I think the problem could be faulty wiring. Look around you. This place is falling apart. Hold on. You know a thing or two about electrical wiring? Great. That's the serious business. If you're right about this, my beloved restaurant could be a ticking time bomb waiting to explode. Let me take a closer look. On closer inspection, it honestly looks fine to me. I'm not seeing anything that might be problematic. Here, eat up. Man, this looks great. to be enjoying the meal, so I wanted to ask him what he thought. Maybe next time. Anyway, thanks for your help. Oh, and here's a voucher with my apologies. Get the poor guy some medicine, will you? Drugs. I need all the drugs right now. Out of the way. Out of the goddamn way. No, no, I can't go. No one knows how they're made or what's in them. These treats are even more mysterious than the material that inspired them. Out on these magical icy pops of wonder. Goodbye. Oh, 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 hey, hey, you, this yours? Well, oh, that about you, you got there? Should have said something sooner. Come on in. What is it with today? People are dropping like flies. Besides this dumbass? Ah, loads of them. I got enough outstanding orders to fill a book. I was about to leave and make some deliveries, but... Uh, um, uh, I can't very well leave them alone now, can I? Hey, you're not doing much. Maybe you can deliver that medicine for me. You're what? Military or something, right? Then you must know a thing or two about dealing with the sick and injured. You're a lifesaver. Literal. Here. You'll probably you find this guy sprawled out on the ground.
So, how goes your education? If I had to guess where a sick person would end up, I'd say the toilet. Maybe ones in the shops nearby? You're too good for my Step right up, step right up. It's the fully automated. Oh. Welcome to the world of tomorrow. Any item you can make. So, what kind of mischief you looking to get up to? Welcome to Walmart's premier weapon shop. Do come again. If I had to guess where a sick person would end up, I'd maybe ones in the shops nearby. Can't go on. I saw the new Coliseum champ down in Sector 5. Look, there it is. I still can't believe it. That Merc won the Corneo. Get fresh chocobo bean popcorn. 
with poison, I tell you. The sick son of a bitch puts poison in his food. I've got meds. Let me take a look at you. Thanks, buddy. Oh, you saved my life. No. I'm grateful for your help, but do you think I could trust you? She probably had back. There was this crazy looking house, right? And it was all like trying to kill him. But then Cloud was all like, bam, bam, boom. Your friend bought a house. A house? Oh, hey, welcome back, bro. Better already? Yeah, and now he won't shut up. Anyway, how did the deliveries go? I did about as much as I could. Thanks for the help. Great work. Anyway, I promise to be worth your while. Here. I got something you're definitely gonna like. What is it? Well, it belonged to the owner of the clothing store first. Heard from the cook that you boys been running all over town looking for this. Am I right? Wait, we have? Hold up. What were we doing before all this? Oh, shit! The inspiration! Bingo! You see, all us wall market entrepreneurs go way back. We get together for a game every night, bet all kinds of stuff. This found its way into the pool and eventually into my possession. And now it's yours, cause hey, why the hell not? It's a VIP card, highly coveted and extremely rare. They're only given to a select few. Not having it is gonna do you much good, but... Holy mother of... no way! Bro, we gotta get to the honey... I, 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 I mean drunkards on the double! Tell the old man I said hi. Come on, come on, come on! I got it all. Can't have just one. The more you eat, the better they get. Fresh chocobo bean popcorn. My heart is beating so fast, bro. Like it's gonna burst right out of my chest. Hey, old dude, we're back. Huh? Who are you? You're no son of mine. I think. Special delivery, just for you. Oh, my inspiration! You've returned to me at long last. Yo, is that what I think it is? Oh, you bet it is, and it was hard won. I sew dresses day and night for those ladies until I got what I was after. A Honeybee Inn VIP card! I knew it! Now make way for the VIP, boys. I don't want to keep my ladies waiting any longer. But first, I should pick up a gift dress. Lead the way, old dude. We are coming. <sighs> well, thanks for bringing him back. Can't imagine what you went through. Here, you earned it. Hey, you're coming, right, bro? Get ready for a real wall market education. I'm done with this. You, you can do whatever the hell you want. I get it, bro. You're scared. It's only natural for people to fear the unknown. Uh. It's a pity you're not gonna join us, but I swear to you, bro, as an aspiring wall market connoisseur, I'm gonna go in there and get as much inspiration as I can handle for you, bro. For you. Because, Cloud, you are my one true bro. Honeybee in, here I come! Inspiration, here I come! <sighs> Perfect example of how age has absolutely nothing to do with maturity. Couldn't agree more. Should probably go see Sam again. My dad is one amazing designer. At least he's with me. Yes! Hey! So 
So, tell me, what did you see in our little enclave of sand and debauchery? Bet it was an eye-opening experience. Nothing I haven't seen before. That it for jobs? Not exactly. I got one more favor to ask. You want to get teeth out, right? What's your angle? <laughs> Just get your ass to the Coliseum. You'll see. We've been waiting for you, champ! Stands are packed thanks to you. Now get out there and give them a show! Lovers of bloodshed and mayhem! Your favorite champion, Cloud, is back in the ring! Right now, this boy may be hot, hot, hot. But look out, folks, because these dynamite challengers may just blow the champ clean off his throne. I hope you brought shades because you're about to see some fireworks. Fighters, begin! going champ you were in fine form today here's your cut you earned it not here for the cash tell me about tifa ah tifa she's something of a bombshell herself huh girl keeps in shape and boy does it show hey just making an observation that's all anyway seems like you're serious about getting the poor girl out of her predicament I could tell easy enough by the way you fought back there. Cut to the chase. Well, you helping or not? Never said I would. Opposite even. Getting mixed up in other people's business isn't my way. Plus, as you are now, I reckon you could ride to a rescue without anybody's help. And that's the truth. You've changed since you first rolled into this here town. For the better. At any rate, I've said all I'm gonna say. 
Your lady friend ought to be done changing by now, am I right? She ain't no Tifa, but she is a firecracker. Keep her waiting too long, and she might just blow up in your face. Hey, been waiting for you. So, what are you in the mood to fight? Let's finish this. Come back anytime you want to fight. Okay, choose an opponent to fight. Come back anytime you want to fight.
I hope you will continue to help me gather vital information for my research. Tifa, she, I, Tifa, she, she's, I don't. Take a deep breath. What about Tifa? I heard Corneo was gonna audition new girls soon. And Tifa's, Tifa's gonna be, I just, I, I don't know what to do. Well, I do. I'll come too. Hey, Cloud, bro, I can call you bro, right? Nope. Just wanna say, bro, that I'm totally relieved that you're looking out for Tifa. So, like, how'd you get so strong anyway, bro? I said. The way you fight, bro, is like poetry and violence. Bing, bing, whoosh, whoosh. You know, I really wish I could be just like you. My problem is that I tend to overthink and overanalyze everything. So, well, this is it for me. Call me crazy, but uh, I have a feeling that I'll just be getting in the way. Go find Aerith at Madame Mims. Tell her to wait for me there when she's done. Think you can handle that? Yes, sir. Got a letter of approval right here. Hmm? You know that's only good for women, right? Yeah, it's for Aerith. Who? Oh, that girl you were with. Sorry to hear that. Well, either way, you're stuck out here, pal. I can't let you in. I wasn't asking for permission. Huh? Wouldn't try it if I were you. Trust me, you don't want to screw with the Don. If you even think about causing any trouble, he'll make sure someone pays for it. And that someone might wind up being the girl you're trying so hard to break out. Or it could wind up being someone you've never even met before. Get it? You're in the Don's world now. Anyway, you've got some time yet. The audition won't start for a while. If you're sure you want to go through with this, then bring the girl and the letter. But if I were you, I would. 